Deadliest Israeli strike yet on central Beirut leaves gruesome scenes. Reuters Stepping through the charred ruins of her neighborhood in central Beirut, Lebanese seamstress Layla. A myriad watched bulldozers pick through a building flattened by an Israeli strike days ago, hoping her friends' bodies would be found. The massive Israeli strike hit the densely populated Basta Faka neighborhood in the Lebanese Capit. Al just before dawn on Saturday, bleep at least 29 people including children, making it the deadlies. T bombardment of the city in the last year. With tears in he. Below are your comments. Unfortunately, every day that Hezbollah is allowed sanctuary in Lebanon is another day of ongoing, gee, gruesome conflict which clearly is not what the UN, since 2006 has promised a ceasefire zone in southern Lebanon but it has never actually been impl me. NTED. Israel or Lebanon. Time to enforce a terror-free zone across the Middle East, and that means eventually going after the head of the snake, Iran. It looks like someone high up in Hezbollah was being targeted. They didn't want him or them to get away. If you see Hezbollah in your building get out or get them oh. Oot. They stared firing rockets at Israel. Israel warned them for a year. Literally a year. Turns out Israel. I bombs are a million times more effective than their ineffective rockets. Now they know, they have cower. Say can just stop firing rockets and missiles. Never needed to happen how Hezbollah got their fangs into Lebanese government is for them to assess. And never let it happen again. Should be a warning to all Mideast countries. You don't mess with adversaries who are a century ahead of you in advanced technology and education. Apparently, the way to get Israel to stop firing is a heavily guarded secret. Stop attacking Israel. Today's world leaders are some of the worst examples of humanity ever elevated to positions of pow. Err, from the top down. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.